So let's see where we're going. Probably, yeah, it's going to be Smashville. All right. It's most it's neutral the start. The neutral start. Yeah. All right, so we're going to see very explosive play from Fury, but it's not just explosive. It's also very smart and methodical. Yeah. It doesn't make sense when I say it, but trust me, it, 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 it does its thing. It, it's like one of those things, like, as it's happening, you're like, what is he doing? What is he doing? And then after he's finished, it's like hindsight, like, oh. Wow, that was really smart. Yeah. And then uh, B-Sharp is just a very fundamentally solid player with Pikachu, so... I'm, willing, I'm hoping to see just like just very basic fundamental play from B Sharp, which is very which is very good against a player like this because it's almost like two uh, counteracting forces. Yeah, Pikachu is a pretty uh, strong counter pick versus Captain Falcon, so yeah. I want to see B Sharp like not overextending and just trying to do what's safe because like use that advantage, use it. Right yeah. now, like Fairy is putting a lot of like pressure in and just like kind of not giving him any time to breathe, and you can see that like those windows for B Sharp is a little bit like wide where he what? tries to get acclimated <laughs> man the, the pullback of the Raptor i love boosters, that I, so I, much that, that he just that like, it, move. like it's such a it's such a well animated move that like the the commitment and the finish to it is so good i think this oh wow he's trying to go for reverse knee i have no idea what's so it's like just here. reading the uh the quick attack he's, he's just like i'm not gonna catch you so if you want to like put yourself on this hitbox real real quick Fury, fury's just playing eighth dimensional chess right now That's yeah okay. so he's gonna do some oh my goodness <laughs> Oh my god! All right, so now he's all. So now we got Fury off stage, which is exactly what I wanted to see. Yes, I wanted to see B Sharp to kind of uh, like like uh, edge guard him. And oh well, it doesn't matter because I got backward anyway. So. Oh, wow, that, that that actually grabbed him. Wait, but, but he lost his jump. So how can this go? Okay. Oh, 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 God. Oh, I was waiting for a grab by B-Sharp there. And... Wow. wow. Oh, my goodness. Uh, platform Challenge helping him out this where he did it past him. This is also a weird stage where, like, sometimes if, if the electricity spikes you on the platform, you can just kind of slide off the stage. Mm -hmm. It's really weird, but it happens sometimes. So I was kind of... <gasps> oh, but... No. Wait. Well, you know, even he knows. He's like, oh, no. I made a mess up. I made a mistake. Yeah, uh, like, one of the main things for Pikachu is that, like, uh, you have to keep your movement up and you have to keep your execution on the movement, like, mm -hmm. always at always. 10. Because, yeah. like, if he messes up, like, he could just die. And because <laughs> yeah, he's a small boy. Yeah, and it's just like he's a small boy. Uh, he, his movement option is literally his special, so he goes into helpless. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> you need to not mess that up. It's like, it's one of the few characters that you can kind of lab. Because you're just like, let me just get my, let me just try and do this movement, that movement, this movement, that movement, like over and over and over again until you have it on fleet. And of course, battlefield pick from B Sharp, which, yeah. which makes a lot of sense considering that Pikachu is this is probably his best stage. Yeah. In all honesty, everyone's gonna be banning Lilat, so he can't qu uh, quack, which is quick attack cancel, where quack. basically he can. <laughs> Quick attack into the ground and have no lag and just start quick attacking again. So yeah. this is like the next best thing He's where he just does that exactly there. Basically, it's just like edge cancels gonna be, on basically, it. B Sharp is going to be moving all around the stage consistently. Oh my God! What a down. The thing, the thing about, the thing about Falcon is that like, especially in this matchup, even though like this is technically a counter pick, it's it's still very doable in the fact that Falcon just literally explodes you. Yeah, I mean, like, a super he, he fast just, character, like, he's never gonna... Look at oh that. Just, like, he's dead! Like... Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna be everywhere. Like, the platforms just add that extra dimension of movement. Like you said, 8D chess. Like, there you go. Yeah, like, a little, like, little eighth dimensional chess that he's doing. Oi, oi, oi. I, I was expecting, like, just another move entirely that was just, like, out of nowhere. I really like that reaction that Fury had, just, like, always being aware, where when B-Sharp, like, retreated off the ledge, he immediately went for, like, a spike setup. I, it just, I never understand how Falcon players can, like... Always be ready for that? Always be ready for things and, like, see this game in a slower speed. Because, like, this character is really fast, and a lot of your, a lot of your actions have to be really quick. So, so to see a character like Falcon make really confident and good reads is, like... Always, oh, it's, oh, it's so good. Something I like to think is that maybe like the the his flow of conditions, right? The yeah. first condition is always, can I get a spike? 
And then if no, then you go into like regular play. Yeah. But it's always like, can I get a spike? So like literally every single time there's an instance where he can get a spike, uh, he's already ready for it. Because like it just resets every single time. I always feel like Falcon players play this game in like slow motion. <laughs> like flies. Like 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 the flash. <laughs> it's just like, hey, I'm just gonna move really fast. Everything's oh. gonna be slow, and then the minute I make a move. Then, then time's gonna resume again, and then you have to hold everything that I just threw at you. Yeah, I mean, like when you're racing on Mute City, you know, yeah. it's gonna happen. You have to have the. Oh I, no! He should have. Okay, so he has the twice set. A lot of New Yorkers would would somehow blame Captain Falcon for that. They would just be like, "Hey, Fal uh, Captain Falcon did this." So. Yeah.